My name is Ethna Trainer. There's four things I need you to focus on today, and really this is only, I have a four-step process. You always need to engage, inform, educate, inspire. And that's where I talk about the fact when you do this, you really do own your space after this. Now I want to do a little bargain with you ladies. All of these slides will be available, but I do want to ask you to put the phones away on this one. Will anybody work with me on this? What do you think? Can we do a deal here? Have any of you ever thought, and I hear this time and time again from people, that I'm not really comfortable with the sound of my own voice? Believe me, it's the one thing you all really need to get comfortable with. What do you need to be in a position where you're going to deliver any message? If you're doing a media interview, I always say do a little bit of research on that journalist. Know your audience, you need the confidence. Prepare, prepare, prepare. That, that, that is actually number one and that will always get you there in the end. And also have, have passion about what you're talking about. Because you can't really make the engagement unless you're passionate about it. A very powerful word, and sometimes there's a big E here, I talk about getting into the E zone. But think about them. Energy, excitement, enthusiasm, enthusiasm empathy, education, excellence, entrepreneurship I mean that this is the space we need to be in ladies get in the E zone I'm but the other powerful one is very simple word explain now I would challenge anybody to stand up and explain something to me without a bit of passion what should I do with my hands what do you think you should do with your hands when you're doing a presentation and the simplest thing I always say when you're doing a presentation is let them hang loose. Have your information. Know your information, please. I put inform as the second element that you need to do. Q&A. Again, to educate your audience, you know, engage, inform, educate, add some value to what you're talking about. Make sure that when you're talking to your audience, they know that actually you're the person you know, who should be doing the job that you're doing. Today's session was so inspirational. It was very inspiring, it was very interactive. And so make sure you round it off, that you really do round it off and find something that's there. You have to put those elements into it. You know, engage your audience, inform them of the message, educate them with the facts and the figures, um, and inspire them ultimately to listen, to hear what you're saying, to come on your side, to be influenced, and hopefully maybe to take action.